Good day, Curtis. How are you doing today? I'm doing a pretty awesome thing for asking. And it may or may not be seven o'clock when I'm recording this. Because usually I record a little earlier and then upload at eight o'clock because um, that's the most convenient time for me to upload. Because it gives me a time to, you know, edit the video uh, without having any stress put on editing said video. Anyway, yesterday you spoke about things. Not entirely sure what you spoke about entirely. Um, however, you mentioned how you've we we did the cards of humanities thing and it was really fun it was really really fun that was it was more fun than i anticipated and that is what i want to talk about today how certain things may seem like you wouldn't enjoy them at first and then you do cards against humanity was one of those those games well one of those things because i originally thought when i saw that game it was, oh, it's just a it's just a game where you put down potty mouth stuff you know the thing is there are those cards which are really, really immature. Cards which, you know, make the game for adults. But there is the odd card which is funny because it's genuinely funny. You know, it's, it has not got any crude humour, it's just, it's just, it would work in the situation it's given. And I think you, Curtis, know exactly what I mean by this, and people who haven't played Cards Against Humanities might not understand what I mean. But beyond what I've said, there is not much I can add on, because it's it's something which you just gotta find out. But this isn't the only instance where this has happened, of course, I wouldn't be bringing up this topic if that was the only thing which ever happened like that. The Borderlands series, for example, was a major example. Because when I looked at the game, it seemed like a game which which it didn't look much fun, you know? Like, you go around shooting things, and they die, and then you move on. But Borderlands is one of those situational games where, from a th from from spectating Borderlands, it doesn't seem all that good. It doesn't seem fun to just kill a thousand Varkids in one zone and then come against a, a badass Varkid who just kills you in one hit. But the truth of the matter is, it's a really fun franchise. Uh, and, and, and when you're sitting there playing the game, you, you, you get immersed in the world. It is a, a, an amazing, amazing world. And when you have control of the, your character, the responsiveness from those controls give you extra immersion into this world, which you don't get from just sitting back and watching someone play. I guess what I'm trying to say is there are a lot of things which you come across which which you don't think you'll enjoy. Certain things which you'll think, oh, that's not really for me. And then one day you'll try it because everyone else is, is trying it and you've, you've got like an hour free, so you may as well. When you finally get round to trying it, it's so good, you know? To the people and Curtis, do you have any of these situations where this has been a thing? And if so, what are they? Um, people will leave your opinions in the comment section down below or your experiences even. And Curtis, I'll see you tomorrow.